Today we ask the age old question. Will it fajitas? Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. Yes, the most exciting moment in a Mexican restaurant is when what? That sizzle from a hot skillet of fajitas is placed in front of you. Oh, Shh. or maybe when he just goes past you. And you're like, oh, what is she, she I getting? I should have ordered that. And you know what? I hope that you feel that level of excitement for this episode. Don't touch the skillet or, or the plate. Very hot plate. Do you know that the word fajita roughly means little belts, which refers to the tough cut of skirt steak that's used in the Tex-Mex favorite of fajitas? Of course I knew that, but what I really want to know is how far can a fajita be pushed before it loses that fajita sequa? <laughs> it's time for Will It Fajitas? Now in order to be a fajita, a dish must have skirt, steak, or some other sort of sliced protein along with mm -hmm. vegetables on a hot sizzling plate. Sizzle. You also gotta have tortillas and a variety of accoutrement on, a side, uh, on the side to complete the meal. Our first attempt to willify fajitas takes us across the pond for some fish and chips. It's the sea sizzler. Don't touch it. Oh, don't. Don't touch it. Woo, it's sizzling. <laughs> I wish you hadn't told him that. I what? would have loved to see that, man. Thanks for thanks for giving me this after I had to move it. You're welcome. Like the 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 skillet. It's mm. first night of service. Things oh, were God. rough. The lemon's hot. That's a hot right. slippery lemon, Josh. Not bad. We also thought about calling this the Buckingham Palace. Oh God. Like palace <laughs> with an F, but then we decided not to. Yeah, we we we, we we wouldn't do that. Josh, what did you do? Well, we got some British pub chips mixed You're gonna with... have to speak up, sir. We got some British pub chips with some peppers and onions. We got some uh, strips of cod that have been battered in ale. We got some malt vinegar. We got some tartar sauce, a little bit of a uh, mushy pea scoop to look like guac, and then some oh. crumpet tortillas. That's peas? That's peas, That's baby. peas. No one's that excited about mushy peas. What kind of tortilla? I like mushy peas. Uh, well, I'm not gonna lie, it's a crumpet that we stepped on a little bit. <laughs> crumpet tortilla. It's okay. a crumpet, it's very thick. Thank you. It's gonna be crumpet heavy. We prize ourselves oh, on our gosh. thick crumpet I mean, you, there's, you. So, there's so much sizzling going on. Okay, I'm gonna put a piece of cod. What even a is a crumpet? I, I call it a cod piece. <laughs> I'm gonna put a cod piece in my <laughs> in my crumpet. <laughs> I mean, still having those, the peppers and onions really gives it not only the sizzle, but also the smell. Oh, but you did french fries down here. fajitas. Yeah, Cause chips. it's like, cause it's like chips. chips. Yeah, yeah, yeah. chips, man. The, the fun of a fajita is making it and then eating it. Making kind of like it? the fruits oh, of your yeah. labor. Yeah, the, the, this is not making it, by the way. Josh made it. This assembling is assembling it. it. Dink it. And sink it. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh you still bit it, man. I backed out. No, I never back out. Phew. Is it hot? I just commit. Is it real hot? Oh, God. That's good, Josh. <laughs> Dang. Those mushy peas look like guac. Guac peas? Pea guac? What do you call it? Yeah, we call it pea guac. Pea guac. I'm gonna eat some of that by Well, there's two pea guacs on the menu. You gotta make sure you order the right one because the other one's real different. The uh, crumpet is the worst part of this. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of like everything that a fajita could be and then sort of messed up by the British. Mm. Kind of like most of the world, we, you know? Ouchie. I will say we made every part of the not, skillet, I mean, just, but a British person made I'm just saying traditionally, you know, imperialism. Okay. It was an imperialism joke, guys. It's okay. Everything's fine. <laughs> Is it good or not? It's good. Um, it's good. Don't 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 get in your head about it, Link. <laughs> oh, you're speaking to yourself on this. Don't um, get in your head about it. Just eat it. It's not as good as regular fajitas, but the fish is really the star here. Because it gives you, I mean, it's that fried fish taco thing. It's got, it makes sense. That's really good. In a sense. That part. All right, so we'll go with it. Fish and chips. Will it fajitas? Yes! yes. They say pizza is like making love. It's never bad unless it's happening in the back of a Sabaros. <laughs> So the best of Italy combined with the best of Mexico is bound to give us all a happy ending, right? We give you, it's not delivery, it's fajitas. Woo, 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 woo. 
All the other tables are looking at our table and thinking they should have gotten fajitas. Yeah, that's the best part. The fajita pride, they call it. And the, the, the scent, it passes that test. Okay, Josh, mm. this is pizza Yeah. on a fajita. That's right, so we cut the pizza crusts uh, into strips and then we actually fried those off with peppers and onions. Then fried we top them, that. Ooh! Yeah, that part got some direct flame. Don't Woo! touch that one. So um, that, that's, a, that's a pizza crust stick. Uh-huh, correct. And then there's peppers and onions and then we topped it with uh, pizza sauce, cheese, bacon, chicken, sausage, chicken? pepperoni, yeah, we uh, we added all the meats on the th theoretical mythical kitchen pizza app. Chicken, uh, <laughs> and uh, I think that's it, man. Dang, son. You know I what? I'm gonna start using small. The, I like use I like the tortilla to have a as a claw. You've you done so much work over there, and I look. There's nothing on your tortilla. <laughs> use the tortilla as a claw and just grab it. That's what I do with fajitas. Ah, oh, fajita techniques. Yeah. that's that's risky, isn't it? Nah, probably not. <laughs> there it is. The tortilla's like a glove. Nope, you, you can't be afraid. There it is. Hey, you did it. You really do that? Hold right. on, I, I, I can definitely believe really you. You just took all the good toppings off, but it doesn't matter, because I've already got mine. <laughs> yeah, it's I'm, not an ethical way. I'm ready to. Like the bread. I'm ready. I'm ready. The, the crust sticks. All right, dude. Is it real hot? It's real good. It's a pizza roll sort of quality to it. It's kind of like an elevated Lunchables pizza. Uh -huh. I mean, taking ev scraping everything off the top of your pizza and putting it in a tortilla. There's probably several college students who have done this. Right. It's not a. It's not bad at all. There's nothing to complain about. And you still get the crust because it's also in there and that you're wrapping up in a tortilla. It's kind of. It's a little harebrained, but harebrained, huh? I mean, I feel like. I didn't think we did hair braid. No, I mean, yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I feel like it's not as classy as some of the stuff that we do on this show. <laughs> right. You know, I just, I feel a little, it's a little uncouth. But I really like the taste. A little uncouth. And I really like the texture. And I, I don't know how you got the this to be so crispy. I uh, deep fried it. You deep fried the crust. Uh huh. That's good. Okay. Well, yeah, that's fun. That is just, that is just pure Mexican Italian fun. Pizza. Will it fajitas? Yes. yes. It is a thing of beauty watching the donuts go through the waterfall of sugar glaze on the conveyor belt at Krispy Kreme. Oh, that's yes. Oh. Oh, what about a pond of glaze on a hot bubbling skillet? Okay. Presenting Donut Touch the Plate. It's hot fajitas. Woo! Okay, so this actually looks like red peppers. What is happening? Well, what did you do? Yeah, so we got onions and red bell pepper in there along with about a pound of skirt steak and then we've glazed that in about 15 hollowed out jelly donuts worth of jelly donut glaze. And then oh, on top wow. So the, so the steak has jelly all over it. All, all over it, all inside it, all on top of it, you name it, it's jellied. And then we got powdered sugar, we have donut glaze, and then we have a little bit of sweet and sour cream. And that's just a smush donut? It's not just a smush donut, but yeah, it is a smush donut. <laughs> I mean, look. Oh wow. It's a smushed donut. That is awesome. So this jellied up beef is kind of like when you do those jelly meatballs. Your mama does a mean batch of jellied up meatballs. Oh yes, yes, yes. Oh yes, yes, yes. Christmas. For many years I didn't understand that there was jelly in that meatballs. Mm-hmm. Yeah, equal parts jelly and barbecue sauce. Good home cooking. I'm sorry, what did you think was in the meatballs? Just good stuff that Sue came up with. You thought it was just barbecue sauce. <laughs> yeah, I thought it was barbecue sauce, but I was like, ooh, that's such a sweet barbecue sauce. Almost like jelly. It's just grape jelly. And I think barbecue there, sauce. Yeah, there's barbecue sauce in it. I like that. How did the how did the donut stay intact? Did you what? have to add something to it after you just smushed it? We plugged the hole with more donut. Ah, you gotta plug that donut hole. Mm-hmm. That looks incredible. A well-timed thumb can help a lot. Oh my God. It's crazy. Let me eat a piece of that Sioux meat. It's so tender. How do you get it to be so tender? I have no idea. I guess if you cook it in caramel for long enough, it just does that. Like, it's falling apart in the best way. I thought it was gonna be like jerky. I have no idea. Man, this is working I don't even know so what to well. say, man. I mean, I've seen like a burger with Krispy Kreme donuts as the buns. That's me, always scared me. Let me taste the elements. That meat. Call your mom right now. And the um, 
Krispy Kreme, get them, get call them. It might be difficult to sell somebody on this. Like it doesn't look great. It doesn't look great, and a smushed donut looks like a smushed donut. Yeah. But once you get them to taste the elements, everybody's gonna get on that train. Krispy Kreme, will it fight hey, cheetahs? <laughs> yes. Yes. Okay, before we taste our last dish, we have spent over a decade tasting, rating, and ranking everything on this show from uh -huh. the world's most expensive desserts to 40-year-old ham and eggs. And you know what? <laughs> it turns out that can get you a television show. Yeah, We got a TV show, y'all. We got a television show. It's on the TV, and it's also streaming. This Sunday, April 24th, in the year 2022, our series, Inside Eats, with Rhett and Link premieres on Food Network. It is a Food Network television show. It's also on Discovery Plus, mm -hmm. all right? We get behind the scenes access to your favorite restaurants and food brands and ask questions like, what does your Chipotle order say about you? Hmm. And what happens when you order the entire Cheesecake Factory menu? Hmm. hmm. It's very interesting, I'm curious, but why are we telling you about this when we can just show you? Let's check out the trailer. We're Rhett and Link, and we taste stuff. Goodness, that is so juicy. We also do other things. Shake it up, shake it up. Just it, oh. <laughs> Sorry. We've eaten just about anything you can think of. We should eat that. And a lot of things you never thought of. I present to you French onion soup ice cream. Oh, we're doing okay. <clears throat> It's getting better. <laughs> <laughs> Our trusted tongues have brought billions of views on YouTube. Good mythical morning. But now we have questions. Can you guys guac and talk at the same time? Do you know of anyone who's ever ordered everything off the menu? Not at one time. Would you mind if we developed our own flavors to see if we can get right to the line of what's acceptable in ice cream? It tastes like gravy that's turned. <coughs> Do you have psychic powers? I'd like to think so. Do you ever get just hypnotized by this color wheel thing here? We're searching for answers behind the top secret doors of America's favorite food brands. We'll go wherever the delicious journey takes us. And eat everything we find along the way. As lifelong best friends who always agree on everything. Shut up! And take our jobs very seriously. Cutting strawberries, Bang. making little slices Bang. of the straw, Bang. strawberries. Bang. We're gonna find our answers. Woo! Yeah! Or get really full trying. We're Red and Link, and we're going Inside Eats. See, it is real. <laughs> Be sure to watch the premiere of Inside Eats with Rhett and Link this Sunday, April 24th on 2022. Yeah, on That's this year. Uh, it's at 10.30 p.m. on Food Network. And for even more bonus footage, yes, longer episodes of the yeah. same stuff, Check it out on Discovery Plus. Some little extra scenes because it's streaming. You don't have to like fit in decide rules, man. You can yeah. do anything on streaming. You can have it both ways. All right, some people don't like pickled foods. I don't care to know why. I want some fajitas made completely out of pickled stuff. Who's with me? It's Peter Piper picked a pickled fajita. <laughs> Woo, Ooh, this one's, whoa, that's a strong smell, son. Woo, extra Good sizzling. Lord. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what is that? Because of the vinegar? Yeah, it's probably all the pickles. Yeah. Woo-wee! Okay, so there's some bright, bright pink stuff on top. That's gonna be the pickled pig's feet. We cut it into strips, because fajitas. Is there still bones <laughs> in it? Yep, because pig's feet. It's fajitas, you almost said it like, because fajitas, like feet and fajitas, was that a joke? Yeah, we never quite landed on the pun, but if you did, that's cool, man. Fajitas. Uh-huh. Fajitas. Well, pig fajitas. Oh, uh, no, 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 no. That's no. next week. No, 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 not, not, not yeah. that. And then this has just got pickle juice on it? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, you know, we steamed it in pickle yeah, juice. Yeah, steamed really in pickle infused. juice. Do you, do you want to try a Josh grab and, grab and eat? A grab and go? Can you just take a, a, a pig's foot and just eat it straight? You, are, is there stuff you can't eat in it? Well, it's mostly stuff you can't eat. <laughs> so be careful. So what else is in here? There. Oh, is this a... Oh. It's it's hot. Is it real hot? What that's a I bet that's a pickled green bean and a pickled kimchi. Yeah, uh, that's correct. It's pickled green beans, kimchi, pickled cucumbers, pickled eggs, pickled pig's feet. Pickled eggs. And I guess technically pickled tortillas. And pickled garlic. Oh, pickled garlic. Yeah. Ooh, you got a lucky bite. Lucky bite. Yeah. I'm making this for you, right? For everybody that I'm going to be talking to later today. Kimchi. Luck, real lucky bite. I think you want some more of that on it. Yeah. 
How do you advise one to eat a fajita that's got a foot in it? Slowly, deliberately, but with gusto and gratitude for the person who made it. Okay. Oh gosh. One of them has a toenail on it. No. There it is right there. No. Josh. Uh-huh. I don't even know what part of the foot it is. Uh, let me see. Uh, lower tibia. <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get one bite that has no no feet. Now, in I I'm it. a big sort of... fan of pickled onions. I'm a big fan of <laughs> I like it. none of those in there. Yeah, yeah. I'm a big fan of something that's not in this. <laughs> well, where are I, I it's fajitas, man. That's the one thing that I love pickled. Yeah. Sorry. All right, pickled green beans are okay. All right, here we go. I mean, did you even get any no, of the first bite's just pickled stuff without the foot, just so I can eat it. Because once I bite on that pickled pig foot, that's what I'm gonna start with. Oh my gosh. There's no. I mean, that's just, that's literally just a bone, Josh. You suck off the skin. Okay, I got a little bit. I don't, how do you, how do you eat a, a, a foot? Oh, it's actually pretty good when you get to the meat part. It's nice. Do you have any favorite pickle themed uh, pickup lines? Because mine is, are you a jar of pickles? Because I like to bang you on the counter. <laughs> Come on, Stevie. Don't support him. You're such a naughty boy. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, you know, because you pickles, you bang them on the counter. Okay. You know, it's, when you want to get them open, sometimes you got to do that to unscrew them. I, I do want to try some of the... I kind of mm -hmm. like it, Josh. Thanks, man. The flavor's good. It's just, I, I feel like I want somebody... is bad. I want somebody to de-meat my feet. I can come for, de me. for the right price. I'll, I'll de meat anything. Maybe a feet de meat. I, I actually did that. You de meated your feet? Yeah, I should have done that for you. I'm sorry. Yeah. Your, yours doesn't have anything. Because you know what the actual meat on the pickled pig's foot tastes like? It tastes like a pickled sausage, like a Penrose pickled sausage. I, I can't. I can't take it. I'm not. I'm not in the. I'm not in the right headspace for this today. Well, you got to be. A, <laughs> you you, you got to be in the right foot space, man. <laughs> it's, it's not. It's not. It's not good. I cannot go okay, there. Yeah I, yeah, I don't know how well this would translate to the, to the masses. You're, so, try, you're trying to like it? This is just for you, huh? Yeah, just for me. But for everyone else, pickles, will it fajitas? No! no. Especially when there's bony pig toes in it. Okay, well, you know what? I think three out of four ain't bad. It was a pretty good day. And a TV show, that's pretty good, too. But make sure you watch Inside Eats with the Red and Link, okay? <laughs> Thanks for subscribing and clicking that bell. You know what time it is. I'm Annabelle. And I'm Anthony. We're at the Grand Canyon. <laughs> and, and it's time, time to spin, spin the wheel, wheel of mythicality. I don't know, that could be a green screen. <laughs> <laughs> Click the top link to discover which food should never become finger foods and get mythical more. And to find out where the wheel of mythicality is gonna land. Be sure to watch the premiere of Inside Eats this Sunday at 10.30 p.m. on Food Network. And for even more bonus footage, check it out on Discovery+. Plus.